If you're looking to um, implement a backup water solution, in other words, keeping your rainwater just for when municipal water isn't available, there's a few things you'd need to look at. The, the most important um, thing is that you'd need to be able to store the water for quite a while and for that you'd want to have as little nutrients as possible in the, the stored water and you'd want something to prevent bacteria growth. This, the, this is a very basic uh, example of a, a backup water setup. What you have here is a Superhead first flush filter which um, you place between the roof and the tank and what that in effect does is you um, flush some of the water um, just as it would go down from the roof normally before you actually start putting any water in the tank. The reason why we'd use something like this is primarily to prevent dust buildup in the tank and nitrate buildups. Uh, now the nitrates you typically would get from uh, bird droppings on the roof and um, setting, setting this up properly is a very, very important um, component of any, any rainwater setup and we'd suggest going to look at the videos in the product itself for, for more information on that. From your first flush filter you would go into your actual storage tank. Um, ideally you would want uh, somewhere between a 1000 and a 10,000 litre tank as those are the tanks that are compatible with our in-tank UV system. Now what this, this is, is, is it's this UV light physically floats on the water inside the tank and its control box sits on the outside of the tank and depending on um, the size of the tank and um, how, how much nutrients are in the water you can run the light for various lengths. Typically we'd say it can be on a normal, um, normal uh, timer just for four to six hours a day if it's backup water and what that would do is just every day kill any bacteria that's starting to build up in the tank thus giving you a long lifespan for your, your backup storage. Uh, if you don't have something like this in place with backup water you typically get, get to a point within two to four weeks where you actually have so much bacteria in the water in the tank that you pretty much overwhelm any filtration system that you would have after the tank and that um, it, it just becomes impractical to, um, to filter that water then. Then after your tank you would go for a pump and after the pump we'd recommend something like a washable disc filter. What this disc filter is is it, um, it filters to a point where you, don't, you won't have problems if you're using the water to say flush toilets where typically with rainwater you get a, a very fine dust and that sits on the seal surfaces and that can cause the toilet to constantly leak and the same for taps that you have that results in dripping taps. This would, um, would prevent, uh, prevent that from happening and it reduces your running costs because there basically is, there's no, no filter, filter cartridges which you need to replace. It's purely um, a, washable, a washable unit. Now this really is a very basic setup so you could use it for emergency, emergency water um, but not for drinking. So if you need to be able to flush toilets or need to, to be able to wash yourself you could use it. If you want to use it for drinking we'd strongly recommend either putting it through another system or going for a more complete um, rainwater harvesting system.